Why am I drinking an iced coffee if it's wetter weather? Because it's 80 something degrees in DC. That's why. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And then kill this. Hello, kitties, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan, and this is This Bahamian Gal, your ultimate guide. The the, 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 uh, let me take that. Doo! Hello, kitties, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rogan, and this is This Bahamian Gal, your ultimate guide to the Bahamas and DC. Got it. So not many of you know this, but I happen to be a huge coffee drinker. I love coffee, but not just hot coffee, iced coffee. Like that's my zhuzh, you know what I mean? Especially during like the hotter months, the summer months, iced coffee is one of the things that I automatically reach for. And I happen to be one of those people who is very loyal to a brand. So if I like it, I'm going to just use it over and over and over and over. And it's very uncommon. Let's just say that for me to just go and veer over to another brand. So when I got an email several weeks ago from a company called Javi asking me if I review their concentrated coffee, I was like, eh, -ta! I don't know about that. I like my coffee. I don't know if I want to even taste anybody else's coffee. And um, I said, you know what, Rogan, just give it a shot. A shot. But anyway, I, as I started researching more about the coffee, I said, you know what, this might be really interesting because it is concentrated. And I don't know that I've ever had a concentrated liquid form of coffee. Um, I usually am used to the grounds, I'm used to the, the beans, I'm used to just going straight to the coffee houses and getting my coffee. Not only is having a coffee addiction expensive, but if you decide that you want to do it at home, it can be tedious. You have to go through a, quite a number of steps from grinding the beans to the filters to the brewing process. You're just waiting there and now listen, I know you guys have the pods now. I don't have one of those machines, so I, I have to do it the old school way. And if I'm not doing it the old school way, I have to go to the actual coffee house and get my coffee, but it's a lot. So the idea of having a concentrated liquid that I could just pour into my hot water or pour into my milk, that appealed to me. So I said, I'd give it a go. So one of the things I told the company from 21 Jump Street was that I'm not gonna be lying to my audience. If I don't like the coffee, I'm going to say so. I said, now, is that a problem? If that's a problem, you know, mosey on over to somebody else because I'm really straight up on this channel. They said, that's not a problem. We want you to do the review. We like your channel a lot and we think it would, you know, be a good addition to your channel. I know this content is very different from my usual fare on my channel, but I hope you guys stay with me because you know what? I am branching out and companies are reaching out. And so your girl ain't going to turn down an opportunity. I'm just not, but I am going to be honest. I'm going to be fair. So if you're interested in seeing my review, and I'm going to be making a latte and making just a cup of joe uh, at the same time in my kitchen. If you're interested in seeing that, and this is going to be a quick video, then continue watching. I will not be lying about this product. If I like it, I will say I like it. If I don't mm -hmm. like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. And I will be fair to the company but I have to be even more fair to my subscribers because I don't lie about anything on this channel. I'm really straight up. If I, you know, I, I'm besides, what am I gonna lie for? When you guys buy it, if it's trash, you're gonna be like, this girl don't know what she's talking about. She doesn't know what she's talking about. So I'm not gonna lie about anything. Whatever um, I feel or taste or experience, you guys are gonna see it um, in real time. So with that being said, I'm joining a gal in the kitchen. Let's go. So this is the Javi Coffee Concentrate, and it says it's 100% Arabica, as in Arabica beans, artisan roasted. And my favorite part, it says it's 30 servings per one, in, uh, 30 servings in one bottle. So I'm going to see how this is going to work. I'm going to do um, a hot version. I'm going to put the hot version in here, and I don't know which one of these mason jars I want to use just yet. Um, I'm going to make uh, the iced coffee because iced coffee is actually my personal favorite. And so today I'm going to be using this um, Starbucks. This is, of course, a competitor, <laughs> but this Starbucks naturally flavored vanilla. And it smells divine. And I cannot wait to pour it inside of my hot coffee and, of course, my um, latte and my iced coffee and go from there. So when, when, when Javi sent me the item... They sent me this coffee concentrate and they sent me this, I believe this is like a straw. Uh, let me open it real quick. And yeah, so let's see here. Uh, 
Okay, awesome. So I, I suppose, I suppose, oh, I don't know if they just sent this to the influencers, but um, yeah, I think it might come with it. I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's get to making this um, so I can do the taste test. This one is one teaspoon. So I'm going to use that because they say just put in one to two teaspoons, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, one to two teaspoons. So I'm going to definitely add one to two teaspoons of this in here and in here and make my coffee. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is try to open this up. I tried to open this up off camera and it's. I want to show you how hard it is to open finally. Jesus Christ, that was hard. Okay. So I'm gonna do a little sniff test. So I, I like to smell everything before I eat it or drink it. Oh wow, it smells just like, I mean, it's coffee. I was, okay, so I, I don't know. So yeah, I was a little worried that it wasn't gonna have like a full on strong uh, coffee taste, or uh, smell rather, but yeah, that's that's fine. So this is um, a teaspoon. So I'm gonna go in and put the first teaspoon Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so that's the first one. Yeah, I don't like that. I kind of wish I had like a dropper or something like that. That's just really messy. Let me uh, clean that up. So guys, this is what two teaspoons of the coffee looks like, or look like. Um, it's just a little bit. And it says to add, you know, your favorite liquid. But before I do that, I'm going to add some of that vanilla, um, what you gonna call it, this, this uh, sweetener, this vanilla syrup. And I'm going to follow the same thing and just do two. That's an easier pour. I'm just going to start off with two. And then I'm going to add my milk. So first observation, it smells like coffee but it has a back end smell that I, I don't know what that is. So I'm just using uh, this Fair Life. Hey, if I knew this was reduced fat, I wouldn't have gotten it. I wanted a full fat, that's the red one. But anyway, okay, so let me put this in here. Oh, before I do that, let me just stir it up a little bit. And as a matter of fact, I might put a little bit of water, hot water in here. Look how it's bubbling in there. I don't know if you could see that. I like bubbling just because of the vanilla. I'm gonna put just a little bit of hot water because I wanna smell I wanna smell this thing. So I'll put that. This is um, a quarter cup, but it's not even a quarter cup that I'm using. I just wanna put a little bit because I'm mixing this with um, milk. Just to get that going. The thing I like about coffee it, more than I mean, more than the taste, it's probably the smell. I like to smell some coffee when it's brewing. I don't know, that it just doesn't smell fully caught. I know it, it says like 100% um, the beans, but Arabica beans or whatever, but it just has a, I don't know, it just has a, a weird end, end smell. I'm gonna use this whole thing. That looks so freaking good. Oh my goodness. So this looks more milky than, you know, I like, I like it to be a little darker. So I started with the two. I want it to be a little darker. So I'm gonna add a, a little bit more. If it's one thing I really don't, let me see if I can just pour it like this. If it see, it just makes too much of a mess, man. I hate that. That's a nuisance to me. It needs a dropper or something, or a, a spout. Uh, like like you see how this thing has a spout, yeah. so it just glides off. This is just too messy. So that's something that you know I'm very much a neat freak. And I don't like stuff spilling like all over the place. I don't. So that's my, <laughs> even though I'm going to review the taste of it, that's just a suggestion for, for Javi. And let's stir that up and see how that, like even, you know, if I want to add more, I'm just so reluctant because I don't want to go through that whole process of having to clean up every minute.
Now I have this, okay, I, I poured it on over this sink because I was just so tired of making a mess. So that's the first, um, that's the first uh, teaspoon. I'm gonna do another one, but like I said, I have to pour this over the sink. I'm not gonna do any more than that. So um, I'm gonna use this sweetener again. Um, I have other sweeteners as well, but I, I like to stick to this one. Um, I'll pour a little bit of that. That's how it looks. Um, and let's see how it tastes. So I'm going to take a few sips of this coffee. I had to let it cool down just a little bit. This one is the hot coffee. And with my hot coffee, I like it plain. When I say plain, I like it black. I should say I like it black with a little bit of sweetener, as you guys saw me put on, put in the, the cup, the mug, when I was in the kitchen. So I'm going to taste it and see what it tastes like. And I, this is primarily to see if, if I could tell the difference between this and like, you know, a regular cup of joe that I brewed with like the beans, the grounds, whatever, or you know, like what I, what I would have at like a, a regular coffee house. So let me see. So the first observation is that I can definitely smell that it's coffee, but I have to get up close to smell that it's coffee. Um, and this is even when it was like piping hot, like I had to get really close. And I would think that being concentrated that it would be even more powerful, you know? Um, and I think part of the experience with drinking coffee is the smell. Like when you just put it, like you put it right here and it just scents up the place. You know, like when you, you're brewing coffee in the morning in your house, it just it just smells really, really good. So let me see how it tastes. Let me do the taste test for this one. So that's good. That's really good. Um, but here's the thing. It's not um, better than the other coffees that I've had. It's just comparable. And it doesn't propose or, or it doesn't say that it's supposed to be better tasting. Um, it's very convenient because you get to just, you know, use that little, where did I put my thing? My little Javi concentrate. You just get to pour it inside of your mug and you just keep, keep you know, be on your way. Um, so it does taste like the regular coffee. Um, one of the things I did not like about the coffee um, was the bottle. It was just so messy to pour. Pour. Like I wish it came with like, you know, like the little droppers, you know, like the little, you know, you know, like how you know, like with kids when you when you have the little dropper or whatever and you could just squeeze it inside of the, the, the drink. I hope that they I don't know what stage they're in with their development, um, but I hope that they find another way or have a, a more more easy to pour bottle because that was just such that was messy. It was super messy. I didn't enjoy that at all. And, I, I, and even like after I cleaned up, I still saw it was still draining on the bottle. So I didn't like that. But as far as the coffee is concerned, the coffee does not taste nasty or anything like that. In fact, it tastes comparable to um, like a Folgers cup of coffee, to be honest with you. Um, that's probably the best thing I could, I could, I could uh, <laughs> compare it to like Folgers. And that's not a shade or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, it, it tastes similar to me. So that's for that. And I'm going to do the iced coffee because iced coffee is really my favorite. So let me see how that one came out. Un momento, mommy, slow your tempo. So this is my baby. And I had this in the in the freezer while I was, um, you know, doing a little recording and stuff like that because I did not want it to get too cool. I wanted it to be nice and frozen because I have my ice in here. Look at that. ASMR. I love that it came with this straw. I think this is the straw slash stirrer. I saw another one in the, in the kitchen. Um, it came with two pieces, so I don't know if that other one was a straw too. I'm pretty sure it is. But um, I've already tasted it and I'm gonna taste it again to see what's popping, what's popping. That's really good. That is really good. That is really good. Um, 
this is comparable to me to a Starbucks, um, like a vanilla iced coffee. Um, I don't taste the difference, or maybe because maybe because I use the Starbucks vanilla um, uh, syrup, and that helped. Um, but I just used regular milk because I didn't have any almond milk or oat milk. My ice and the coffee itself, and this tastes really good. I actually prefer jelly with ice. Well, that's probably because I'm, I'm such a big fan of iced coffee, though. You know, so I don't know. Um, but is it worth it? Absolutely. If if they could get that damned mouth to pour properly, because that's a turn off to me. That is a major turn off to me. If they had a dropper, like I said, and I could put it in my coffee, good to go. As far as the hot coffee is concerned, because I like my coffee a little darker, I found that I had to put more of uh, the Javi into the, the water to get it a little darker and it still didn't get super dark because I guess it's like a medium roast, I don't know. Um, <sighs> Hallelujah. Now I know we're in the fall months, so people aren't really thinking about colder drinks, they're thinking about hot drinks because it's gonna be chilly outside, but I'm in DC, it was 80 something degrees today and we're in September, so um, I plan on holding on to my iced coffee. And I'm the type of person who would drink like a cold beverage in a snowstorm. What's that song from Outcast that I love so much? Uh, well, how does it go? Eating the ice cream in a snowstorm with a throat warm at the AU. Child, I can't remember. Big boy, tell me what you said. I can't remember. Anyway, I really love this inside of the iced coffee. Um, I would like to say that I didn't see other reviews, but I did. And I only looked at the other reviews because I wanted to I wanted to make sure that this company was legit. Like I was like, let me see if anybody else reviewing this coffee. And um, I saw, you know, quite a number of YouTubers, I suppose they had also been contacted to do reviews. And I didn't watch them all the way through. I just wanted to see, hey, you know, you know what people were saying. Um, there were a few YouTubers who were, you know, kind of negative towards it. And I, I don't think that it warrants the negativity Everybody's palette is different because I feel like this right here, I could have gotten from Starbucks. What I mean is it's comparable in taste to me. And again, it could be because I use this the the, the Starbucks vanilla um, um, sweetener, liquid sweetener, whatever it's called, the syrup. That could be why. But the coffee itself, even when I just, well, I had the sweetener in that as well. But the coffee, it, 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 it tastes really nice to me. Like I'm about to jack this up. Um, this started up here and I'm going to keep going. I try not to look like a hog on, on TV. Anyway, guys, wait, hold on. Mm. I tell y'all I like, I like Madame Ice Coffee. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review this week. It's a pretty short video, I think, because in post-production, I always go on much longer than I need to. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I suppose as companies reach out, I'll be doing them from time to time. And like I said, if I wasn't feeling this at all, you would know it. Um, I would never trash a brand. You know, I would just say what I don't like. Um, I'm not big on trashing brands. Um, if I don't like something, I, I will point very specifically to what I don't like. But what I don't like about this Javi coffee has nothing to do with the taste because the taste is comparable, like I said, in the hot form to Folgers and the iced uh, coffee to like a Starbucks to me. The thing that I don't like and I hope they work on is that damn bottle the, to pour it, you know, it's just such a mess. I, I, I That would turn me off massively because Rogi don't want to have to be cleaning up a million times just to get some coffee. So I hope that they work on that. But other than that, I really do like the ice cream. <laughs> Hold on now. Sorry, I really like it. <laughs> Y'all think I joke in. I just get them tall, tall, tall cup of this. And so I will definitely be going through the Javi. I just need to get some more milk. And I have my sweetener and I have tons of different types of sweetener. Where's my other sweetener for my skinny, my skinny syrup thing? Hold on. See, because y'all think I just play. Y'all think I just play. I tell you, I going crazy with the coffee. <laughs> this one is butter toffee. Uh, zero calories and zigger, zigger, zero sugar. So, um, I'm de I, and I love these sweeteners. Um, so I'm definitely going to kill this Javi. Um, and I would say, give it a shot. Give it a shot. 
I love the way this tastes and I know that you guys will too. So um, if you want to learn more about Javi, please uh, look down below in my description box and um, give it a shot because it tastes really good to me. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching my channel this week. I know it's different from my regular content, but you know what, you guys, you got to grow with me, right? Yeah. So I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much to everybody who stumbles across my channel. Of course, my regular subscribers, um, folks who have not yet subscribed, what y'all waiting for? Y'all better hit that subscribe button to become a part of my family. Come become a part of Rogue Nation. Okay. Stop playing. Stop playing. Go subscribe. I go wait. I can sip my, I can sip not my tea, but my coffee, my iced coffee while you're not subscribe. Subscribe. I go wait. You think it's real gold? You think Javi send me real gold? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? You don't subscribe yet? Subscribe to my channel, yeah? Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Always a truck in DC gotta be messing up my, my good recording. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday at 1 o'clock. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at This Bahamian Gal, on Facebook at This Bahamian Gal, and on my favorite place on the web, my blog, www.thisbahamiangal.com. And subscribe to my newsletter too, guys. Sign up for my newsletter, monthly newsletter. Love you guys. Mwah. Hold on, let me use both hands, because that's how you know it real. That's how you know it real, when you use both hands. Let me fix this black bra, because you can find my tan bra. Y'all ready? Mwah. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>